So you've just done the Emperor's New Clothes, and we and you've answered those questions. Now we're moving into it's the middle story. It does say at the top it says Aesop's Fables. So we do know that the folk the type of folktale we're looking at, um, or not folktale. Yeah, the type of folktale we're looking at. Sorry, lost my train of thought. We're looking at a fable. So we know that a fable typically has um, animals as our characters. We also know that it's going to teach us a lesson. So we need to be listening for the lesson. We definitely also know that there will be a trickster in this. So be thinking about who your trickster could be. This fable is called The Cock and the Fox. So it's going to be about a rooster and a fox. One bright evening as the sun was sinking on a glorious world, a wise old cock flew into a tree to roost. Before he composed himself to rest, he flapped his wings three times and crowed loudly. But just as he was about to put his head under his wing, his beady eyes caught a flash of red and a glimpse of a long pointed nose. And there just below him stood Master Fox. Have you heard the wonderful news? cried the fox in a very joyful and excited manner. What news? asked the cock very calmly. But he had a queer, fluttery feeling inside him, for, you know, he was very much afraid of the fox. Think about why a rooster would be afraid of a fox. Your family and mine and all other animals have agreed to forget their differences and live in peace and friendship from now on forever. Just think of it. I simply cannot wait to embrace you. Do come down, dear friend, and let us celebrate this joyful event. How grand, said the cock. I certainly am delighted at the news. But he spoke in an absent way, and stretching up on his tiptoes, seemed to be looking at something afar off. So the fox has come up and said, hey rooster, guess what? We're all going to be friends again. We're going to forget our differences. I don't want to eat you anymore. But the rooster doesn't believe him. And so since the rooster doesn't believe him, he's looking at something. He thinks he sees something. What is it you see? asked the fox a little anxiously. Why, it looks to me like a couple of dogs are coming this way. They must have heard the good news and... But the fox did not wait to hear more. Off he started on a run. Wait, cried the cock, why do you run? The dogs are friends of yours now. So, we mu dogs must be something foxes are afraid of. Yes, answered the fox, but they might not have heard the news. Besides, I have a very important errand that I almost forgotten about. The cock smiled as he buried his head in his feathers and went to sleep, for he had succeeded in outwitting a very crafty enemy. So, the moral, and it's in bold at the bottom of the page, says the trickster is easily tricked. The fox came to try and trick the rooster into coming down so he could eat him, and instead the rooster was able to trick the fox. So, your moral is the trickster is easily tricked. So you do have a couple questions on this, and one of them is a typing one, where you have, it's, it's one, two, three. So number one, explain how the tricksters were successful in the emperor's new clothes. How did those guys that said they were weaving clothes, how were they successful in tricking the emperor? How was the fox unsuccessful? Your next one, what did the emperor want? What was his goal? How was he able to be tricked? And number three, why did the fox want the rooster to come down from the tree? Make sure you type those in complete sentences. And when you're finished with that, there will be another video for our third story.